Uh-oh. I just saw the UPS truck pull away. Let's go see what he brought. Hey everyone, how are you doing? Mike the Handy Homeowner here. Got this beauty in the mail today, so let's check it out. So this is the Ryobi One Plus 45 watt soldering station. And uh, it's a hybrid soldering station, so it can use either their Ryobi One Plus batteries, or you can plug it in with an extension cord. So that's kind of cool. This is model P3100. Let's open it up. Instruction manual. They're typical, all the other stuff they sell. There's the soldering iron, or soldering station, sorry, see? I've never had anything so nice. <laughs> and actually, that's the truth. I've never had a soldering station. I've been soldering stuff for probably close to 40 years. And when I was a little kid, my dad had one of those big old soldering guns, you know, that you'd pull the trigger and it had the element that would heat up. It's a big monstrosity. Well. That thing was always a pain to solder anything small with, right? Because you had that giant tip, at least we did. So other than that, all I've had are the standard plug-in single corded soldering irons. Hold on, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So up until now, all I've ever had is one of these kind of soldering stations, okay? This is actually a Craftsman 45 watt with a plug and a really crappy tip on it. It needs to be filed down probably. And this is something that I've used, you know, something like this for the last 20 or 30 years since I've had my own stuff. Great. It works. It's always got the job done. Um, whether I'm working on something with the car or, you know, a hobby or some little project somewhere, um, this has always worked. The problem is if you ever want to do something out somewhere else, out in the yard, but, you know, I want to maybe do something with our lawn tractor, I got to go get an extension cord and plug this thing in and deal with that cord. So when I saw that Ryobi had one of these, I was pretty interested. Because as you probably know from watching some of my other videos, I have a whole bunch of Ryobi tools. And the reason why I do is because of their battery platform. For many, many years, they've had the same batteries that'll work on all their tools okay so i very much was interested in this for that reason and then when i found out it was hybrid which means it can use a plug as well i thought well there's no way i don't want this so it's just a matter of time and i finally decided to pull the trigger when i saw it online i think it was 79 dollars or something like that so it's a fair price so here's what it's got Looks like it comes with a small tip and it's removable. I was noticing this on screws. Of course, I haven't read the instructions yet, guys. I'm just figuring this out here for the first time. All right, it's got a wire. <laughs> this is probably one thing I'd say isn't going to be real good. This wire would easily melt if the soldering iron end got on it. It's just a regular PVC insulated wire. That's a little poor. Um, other than that, it looks like it has a dial for adjusting the heat of it. Now, that's another thing I've never actually experienced. 
Um, you know, I, I've used a friend's soldering station before that had something like this, um, but I've never had one myself and I've never really felt I needed it. You know, I either would plug the thing in and I want full power, I want it to get hot fast. So I'm gonna have to actually do a little research on why you don't wanna use it um, on full power, but we'll get into that. So it also comes with, oh, look at that. <laughs> okay, so it comes with a, a little bit of solder. How cute, they give you this little, I guess, it's, I guess you know what, if you don't have any, now you do, you can get started. It's a tiny little sponge, I'm gonna have to wet that, so this will expand and fit into there. That's good for cleaning off the tip. That'll be good. And then I guess they did give me another tip, which is nice. So this is more of the tip that I'm used to using is something like this. But I'll tell you what, it's going to be really good to have that uh, fine point. So I'm a little excited about that. Um, let's see. This probably snaps in here. Hmm. All right, so to get this pen holder in there, I'm gonna put it in the hole and then rotate it into position and it locks in place. That's kind of cool because it looks like I could easily take it out to store it if I wanted. But this just goes in there like that. And have it. All right, that kind of sits in there nicely. That works, but look at this, the, the core is already just tangled up in there. So this is going to be for sure a little bit, this is going to be a little bit of an issue with this cord. We're going to have to figure that out. All right, well, something to work on. As usual, when I buy something, I'm going to have to modify it. So we'll figure out what we're going to do with that. Hmm. Other than that, from what I've seen so far, you know, it feels pretty solid. It feels pretty good in my hands here. Plastic is typical, everything else we have always been making lately. So I think we're good there. I'm gonna take a battery and plug it in. The light turns on. And I would assume it's gonna turn green when it's ready to solder. Let me get some water on that sponge. Okay, I can smell it heating up. <laughs> if you've ever soldered before, you know what I'm talking about. The sponge just came to life real quick. Oh, look at that, it's already green, dang. Let's see what happens if I take this out. Oh, it's hot. That is a little impressive. As you probably know, if you're like me and been using one of these for a long time, you know, this is a 45 watt iron too, but it definitely takes a lot longer than that did to heat up. That is cool. All right, you know what? I have the perfect little test project for this thing too. Um, let's try it out. All right, to test this soldering station, I've taken apart this Ryobi reciprocating saw that has a motor that was burning up. And we're gonna swap the motor. We'll use some of that sample solder that they gave us. Hey, I mean, it should work, right? Otherwise, why would they give it to us? So let's see if we can make this happen. All right, let's see. So first thing we're gonna do is turn that on with push of a button. The red light comes on. We're gonna crank it up. Anybody know the Jeopardy theme? Start singing it. So the the terminals have this hole in them, right? And what they did was they they ran that wire through it. So we're gonna just snip that off. Then we're gonna make this real easy on ourselves and just cut that off. We could probably copy what they did a little bit. Feed the black through the terminal. And then I'll use my 
needle nose pliers to give it a little bend. Let's solder it up. Okay, the green light's still on. And when you're soldering, you want to get both the wire and the both wires or whatever it is you're soldering, you want to get all of that hot. Okay, you do not want to have what's called a cold solder joint. So the terminal and the wire need to be warm. You really want the solder to melt by touching the terminal and the wire, not the soldering iron itself. There we go. Come on now. All right, let me turn this camera around. This little wire on this thing is getting a little hungry. Huh. All right. There we go. Now that's a good solder joint. All right, you see how the solder flowed around everything and not just into or onto the wire. Now we're gonna do the same with this terminal. Okay, so we're gonna get that nice and hot. There we go. Starting to melt from the back side here. There we go. All right, I think that worked pretty well. I'm, a, I'm definitely not disappointed. The soldering station definitely works well. Um, I mean, listen guys, I'm used to using one of these old plug-in ones, like I said, that take forever to heat up. This, uh, this works. Being that it's completely portable, I like that. I mean, this is great. I can go out to the garage and work on something real quick. Just grab this, stick a battery in it, and by the time I get out there, it'll already be hot. And I'm ready to go. This is going to be useful. Let's see what happened with the battery life. So you give the dial, you turn down, turn it off with the push of a button. The battery life, it's still at four bars, okay, which, I mean, honestly, I, I didn't use it for long. A quick little project, put that together. And, you know, I would expect it didn't use much power at all to do that, and it didn't. So I think that's good, too. All right. Well, there you go. If you're considering getting this, if you're considering getting this soldering station, now you know more about it and you can make a better decision. Um, one use, you know, that's all I can show you, but so far so good. I'm happy I got it finally so that I can have this portable soldering station that doesn't need to be plugged in. For me, that's going to be really useful with the boat and lawn tractors and all that. I actually can think of a couple projects I want to use it for right now. All right, well, hope this helps you out. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember, we're just trying to do these videos to give you information, help you save money, make better decisions. Please click like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next video.